Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new video for you guys. So I am going to be showing you guys my collection of porcelain dolls. So these ones I have mostly bought for my graphics project. So um, if you haven't seen my recent videos, go check those out because I've been talking about my graphics project for my A-level, which I'm doing horror photography. And I'm going to be using porcelain dolls and fake blood and everything like that. So it's going to be great. So let's get into it so the first one that I'm going to show you is this one so this is Crystal and she is from the classic collection um, I got given her by a friend to use for my graphics project and I'm going to spray her white dress in fake blood and dirt and things to make her look all spooky and then after that if I can't clean her off I will probably just like donate her to the charity shop <laughs> Or, it depends. If she turns out well and she looks great, I'll keep her. But if not, I probably won't keep her. Um, but yeah, there she is. She's from the Classic Collection. They are fairly cheap dolls. If you're looking to collect dolls, I would recommend collecting ones from the Classic Collection. Because they all come in boxes. They all have a little stamp at the back of their necks to show that they are genuine Classic Collection dolls. Um, they're quite easy to get on eBay um, for like £5, £10 each. So they are very cheap to collect. And they are all very pretty dolls, so not sponsored, but just a bit of a recommendation if you're looking to collect. And they aren't too spooky or like creepy as you can get some creepy ones. Um, I don't think they're too creepy either. And then the next one is from the Alberon um, brand. I thought Alberon was a toy company, but um, apparently this one is a collector's doll. So here we go, it came in this box, I got it from the charity shop, the British Heart Foundation charity shop, for six ninety nine. Um, So she has a little pink hat, bonnet, whatever, I'm not really sure what to call it to be fair. Um, and yes, I bought her because I thought she has a white apron on that I could spray it in blood or whatever and it could look like she killed someone. I don't know, for my graphics, not just to be weird for my graphics. So, yeah, there she is. I think she's the creepiest one out of my collection because she has bigger eyes. So, um, yeah, and she also has a little, um, like, flower basket as well. So, yeah, there she is. And then I have my biggest doll from the Knightsbridge collection so I don't actually collect from the Knightsbridge collection I'd never heard of it until um, somebody sent me the selling post on Facebook from my local refurb company and said like isn't this your kind of thing so yeah the Knightsbridge collection Paulson doll um, so here she is so she is a fine bisque hand painted porcelain doll and um, she was £10 from my local refurb company. She is probably like 22 inches tall. She's pretty big for a doll. And um, she's worth about £50, £60 pound online. So I had to snatch her up for that price. And I'm thinking of keeping her for a while because she's very pretty. Having her on display for a while and then after that I will probably just get rid of her. Sell her on, donate her, whatever. Um, I'm not too fussed to be honest. So she came in the box, like I showed you the box at the beginning. Um, she came with a little parasol that matches her dress. She came with a feather, black feather scarf. And of course, if you would like to start collecting porcelain dolls, I recommend looking out for the little um, oval shaped labels that a lot of different collections have. Um, so. Yeah, it just gives them a little bit more value at the end of the day, having the label with them. And she also came with her certificate. Um, so, yeah, I thought that was brilliant. For £10, she's got the label, she's got the certificate, she's got the original packaging, she's got all the original accessories, she's in perfect condition. Um, so, yes, I thought that was a definite bargain from my local refurb company and then if I do end up wanting to sell her on I could probably get a bit more than £10 for her. Um, next I have my Leonardo collection so they're the ones that I do purposefully collect um, that I haven't just bought for the sake of buying them or bought them for a project. 
Um, so this is Martine. She was the first one from the Leonardo collection which I got. And she is the Christmas doll. So she has lovely green eyes with these little hollies and roses on her dress. And then this sort of like golden print pattern on her dress very festive, has the collector's label which I always look out for, I don't buy them unless they have the collector's label on them for the Leonardo collection um, so yeah my mum got her from the Facebook marketplace a couple of years ago, I don't know where she came from, like how much she was or anything like that, um, but she lives on the corner of my desk normally and then lastly I have Leanne, she is the newest one to my collection and she is also from the Leonardo collection not sure why it's not focusing there, there you go. Um, and she has a lovely gothic looking dress on. Um, this, so, this like purple and black. I absolutely love, that's why I bought her. I saw her on eBay from the Age UK charity shop site. Um, and I just had to have her, I just love her little style she's got going on. Um, with her bonnet and all the lace and everything, I absolutely love it. And she only costed me three or four pounds. Um, like obviously not including postage. Postage on dolls is quite expensive purely because they are easily breakable, and um, you don't want to turn up with a collect. You don't want to have a collector's doll that are quite rare um, turning up smashed. So yeah, if you're going to buy them online. Um, and you want to start collecting them from online, postage is normally quite expensive. And if it's not expensive or you get free postage, I would question it because they're probably not wrapping it very well and it may well turn up damaged. But um, yeah, there we go. So that was my porcelain doll collection. This video is not sponsored at all. However, I love China dolls. I think they're great. I love it how so many people think that they are so terrifying and yet I think they are just beautiful. I think they're just really pretty. Um, I'm obviously not a very girly girl, but I do quite like them. Um, so yeah, that was a little bit of a collection I thought I would do as I've got some, I've got a few of them at the moment. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't really collect them purposefully. I do like the Leonardo collection ones though. Um, and I mainly bought a couple extra to destroy and turn them into creepy dolls so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it please leave a thumbs up subscribe down below if you like what you see and click on my channel icon to see the rest of my videos if you know someone who would like to see it don't forget to share it if you have any upcoming video ideas any comments or opinions to make on this video please be nice um you know what was your favorite doll do you have any of these dolls do you collect dolls um comment all of it down below um, and if you can't comment down below, I will leave the link to my Instagram. If you would like to see behind the scenes stuff or like up close pictures and videos of my backgrounds and of my like video topics and things like that, that will all be on my Instagram page. And um, yeah, also if you collect porcelain dolls, take a picture and send it to me on Instagram. I would really love to see it. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.